Every four years, it seems like all America is talking about is the Olympics or the presidential election. As the Olympics ended and the election gets closer, the Student Governance Board encouraged students to register to vote if they have not already. To get the students' attention, the Rock and Vote event was presented. Students got to make their own music video with the song of their choice, all while being encouraged to vote. The music video was free and registering to vote was free, which encouraged students to register. Not only were students making music videos, but faculty and staff were in on it too. Besides making music videos, there were a lot of students registering to vote. The student media group caught up with some of the students and got their views and opinions of the presidential campaign. So, are you registered to vote? Yes, ma'am. I've been registered to vote since 2004. Are you a registered voter? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm registered to vote. Yes, today I just registered to vote for the first time, so yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I'm registered to vote, and um, for those of you all who are not registered to vote, this is very important. Please, we need your help. Youth, come out and vote. Register and vote. And what are your views about the campaign? Um, right now, I am one well, Democrat, so I'm very um, concerned about the health insurance policies and policies involving education. So, hope I really, really hope that this health insurance issue will be solved. <laughs> Well, seeing as how this is my the first time I'm um, voting for a presidential election, I'm actually still being educated a lot on the process and how it's going to go. What are your views about politics today? Well, uh, initially I'm a Democrat, and uh, you know I look at Obama, and he has a lot of you know influential influence in, with people who are Democrats, and his views, you know, they seem very convincing. So I think he's a, he's a very charismatic person. So. You know. How do you feel about presidential candidate Barack Obama? Um, I feel that he has very thing, a lot of things to bring to the table. Obama would actually be great for the country. It's a new face, fresh new start. Um, I'm looking forward to see what he got planned for, you know, not just for the district and the DMV area, but for the United States as a whole. I'm ecstatic about him. I think that he could take it to the um, White House. I think he could take it far and that I really hope that he has what it takes. And right now, um, I've been following him throughout his campaign, and uh, I've seen him in PGCC when he came here to um, speak. Well, I really like um, that he is fighting for change. I really believe him when he says that, because um, he's really been pushing hard to get some new ideas in the government. And I think he's setting some really good precedents with not taking money from all the private um, interest groups and whatnot. I think. He needs to set that for other candidates in the future. I'm so for Obama. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm so for Obama. I love what he stands for. I love what he wants to do for the people. I mm -hmm. love the fact that he doesn't want to put us in a deeper deficit than what we already are in as far as Bush. So, so far, those are my views. How do you feel about presidential candidate John McCain? Well, McCain, I heard that he's a war hero and that he's a patriot. Well, I really think that that's very uh, respectful of, of him. That he's a very respected person, and I think that, uh, but I don't think that he's in, he's the right direction for America right now. Um, I think he's a little bit outdated. Um, he's a little bit stuck in the old ways of how our government has been running, and I think it's time we need a new change. Hmm. Well, I have nothing against John McCain, 
Personally, I just don't agree with his views. I really don't. Um, I know I've read a commercial. I saw a commercial about John McCain uh, supporting Bush and supporting supporting Bush and supporting the war, and he agrees that if you don't make five million dollars, then you're not a part of the Commonwealth. And I'm thinking, okay, wait, there. What about the people who make a hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand, sixty thousand dollars? So we're not allowed to live in America or to actually thrive and succeed like everyone else who makes millions. I, I don't like that. So have you been catching up with the Democratic National Convention? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have. I actually watched it on this Monday, but I haven't been watching it this whole week, so I, I, I try to catch up a bit. Yes, I have. Um, I actually been. I was watching last night, and uh, I found out that uh, Joe Biden is the new ticket. Is on the ticket for the um, vice president, and I think that's that's very that's a plus for Barack Obama. Yes and no. <laughs> So somewhat, you watch it whenever you can? Yeah, when I get a chance. Totally, yes, I've, absolutely. This is actually the first time I've watched it completely through. And one thing that I really love about it, because you know I am voting for Obama, mm -hmm. <laughs> but one thing I love about it is that Obama's wife, Michelle, stands next to him as his equal and not behind him. And not only does that show that they're representing the people of color in the White House and in the politics, but they're also showing that women are just as equal as men. And that even though you're married or single, you, women and men are still equal. And women and men still have the same power and they can still go far, as far as jobs, as money, as making decisions like that. They're equals. And I love the fact that they're showing that and that she stand by her man. So. So are you going to watch the Republic National Convention next week? Yes, I have. That's that's actually a part of, you know, seeing who you're up against as a Democrat. Once you get to realize what you're going up against, you can basically decipher who you're going to vote for and who you're not going to vote for. So. I think I will, you know, because I want to have an overall perspective of how the Republicans feel so I could just weigh it out and see how I still feel about the situation. We also caught up with Paula McIntosh, head of College Life Services, to give students more information about what they have to offer and more about upcoming voter registrations. Well, Rock and Vote, I think it's important to get our students to be aware of the importance of going out and register to vote so they can participate in our electoral process. Um, this has been a tradition of the Student Governance Board. It's also mandated um, as an institution that receives federal funding that we are required to make um, registration, voter registration available to our students. And so it's been a tradition of the Student Governance Board to coordinate in partnership with other student organizations on campus voter registration. Drive. We are registering students to vote here at PGCC. We have some upcoming dates for registration and all of the registrations are in the same places outside in the Largo Student Center and in the breezeway between Bladen and Financial Aid and the police substation. So come out on certain days there will be flyers. What do students need to know um, to register? What does it take to become a registered voter here in Maryland? Basically you just need to be a Maryland resident, resident excuse me, 18 years of age. You need to have a valid Maryland ID, okay. and you can register up to 21 days before the actual election, as long as you're 18. 21 days before the election, that's coming up quick. November's the election. Don't wait till the last minute. You need to get out and vote. So that's one thing that I really love about Obama because he's really teaching the college students and the high school students that education is important. And even though you may not want to do it, if you take care of what you got, what you don't want to do now, later on in life, you'll be able to do whatever you want. You heard it here first, students. That wraps up this section on politics. I'm Natalie. Thank you. I kind of give you a high five. <laughs> I was like dead on with everything you were saying.